everyone. So today's video is going to be about recording your underwater camera footage. And I'm going to go through all three different ways you can do that, depending on what type of camera you have. And no matter if you have an AquaView or a Markham, as long as you know what kind of video out you have, which is very easy, you're going to be able to record camera footage in no time at all. I will have timestamps for each one of these below so you can find your particular camera um, and just follow that tutorial. Each of these cameras record differently. We have the Markham Mission with video out and AV cable. Very traditional. You're going to need some RCA cables, which I'll show you in a second. Um, this is going to be more older school cameras. This is older technology, but it happens to be very common in the fishing world for uh, underwater cameras. The Markham Quest has an HDMI out. So the video out, the video out is going to be HDMI, which is much more modern, something you'll find on your Blu-rays and TVs nowadays. I'm gonna show you exactly how to record with video out, HDMI, and be able to use one of these, no matter if it's an Aquavie or this Markham, um, to make some pretty high quality, high definition videos. Finally, I've gone through this before, but the Marco Recon or any of these portable units usually have a video out or they allow you to record on the device. This particular unit allows you to record on the device over here by sticking in a micro SD card. <laughs> got him guys, I got him. Pretty fun. We'll go through all three of these. Um, you can find links to each particular type of output below. So the first piece of equipment that you're going to need is a game capture. This is how you're going to record your video. There are other alternatives to game capture, such as traditional DVR units or even camcorders with video input. However, the quality of those are limited and they're tougher to get to come by. Quality of your game capture will definitely affect the quality of the video you receive. Quality matters. Aver Media 2 Plus is a favorite of mine. It can handle HD and it's very efficient. The next thing you're going to need is audio video cables. Now this is only for units that have AV out, traditional video out, so the yellow circle in the back of the camera. To connect this to your game capture, you're gonna need the AV cables and the adapter. The is an RCA to HDMI converter. You can find this on Amazon or Best Buy. They're pretty easy to come by and they're just gonna make sure you can use HDMI and video out. That you're also gonna need an HDMI cable that would have likely came with your game capture. Then you're gonna need a power pack. You can find these on Amazon for virtually nothing and they're gonna be used to power your game capture and that converter. Now you're gonna take the power from your AV converter and you're gonna put it into your power adapter because you're gonna to have to power this thing so it can convert your video. The video, which is yellow, into the yellow adapter. It's that simple. And now our adapter is powered and ready to go. Now you're going to take your HDMI cable that came with your unit. This is what's going to record your video. You're just going to slide that into video in. You're going to plug it into your converter. Back to the converter that's in the power with the AV cables. And you're just going to plug your game capture right into video out. Just like that, we're ready to go. Your game capture is also going to need to be powered, but most power banks have two power outlets, so that's going to be easy. So, most game captures are powered by a micro USB cord. You're just going to plug that into your power bank as well. So, to summarize what we have going on, we have the AV cable video out into the back of the camera, then we have it in a converter, which is simply letting us transform the video into HDMI. We have to power that converter and we have to power that game capture using a powerable power pack. Now you can see that the Aver Media unit is working. There's a micro SD card in there. The blinking red means that we're recording video successfully. If you have one of these cameras that only record in 720, then you can also use alternative or cheaper methods like I mentioned, like a portable DVR player, an older game capture, or even a camcorder that takes 720p video. Next up, we're going to do the Markham Quest. Now, the nice thing about the Quest is it's HDMI, a much more modern type of video output. And with that means we can leave the converter behind. So I'm going to go through exactly what you need when recording with an HDMI out underwater camera. So you're going to need 
the game capture again to record your video. Again, you're gonna need this to be high quality, especially in this situation because the Quest is an HD camera, so you need an HD recorder. You're gonna need the power pack, just like we mentioned in the previous video, and your Aver recorder is going to be recording on a micro SD card. You're gonna still need the power cable for the Aver recorder. Record from the recorder into the power pack, just like we did if you watched the previous video. Now we've got the recorder powered. Now we're gonna take our HDMI cable and we're gonna put it into video in because we're recording in with the game capture. Take the other part of that HDMI cable and we're gonna put it in the back of the Quest camera. That's it. It's literally that simple when it comes to the HDMI setup. So in conclusion, we have the game capture powered by the power bank. And then we have the game capture plugged into the back of the Quest. This will work with any HDMI camera. If the game capture is blue, it means everything's working correctly. If it's blinking red, it means it's recording correctly. However, if it's solid red, that means there is an issue with either the camera or the micro SD card. The Markham Recon is incredibly easy to record with because all you need to do is insert an SD card right into the SD card holder. It also has a video out, so technically you could use the converter and do this with that game capture, but I would stick with the SD card, much easier. Two things you need to know when recording with this. The SD card has to be reformatted. You can do that by going into your menu settings, going down into settings, hitting enter, going into system settings, hitting system settings, going down to format, going over and switching it to yes. I'm not going to do that right now because I have footage on here. Voila. The second important thing when dealing with the recon is there are some software issues I found at times. The best way to combat this is to use the VLC player. If you have a Windows machine, you can download VLC for free and it will work with this footage. Also, if you have a Mac and you're having problems with corruption at times, which can happen with cheap SD cards, then VLC play, the VLC player can actually repair those files and play them that way. My best advice is to buy a name brand, high quality micro SD card, use VLC player, which is great and totally free online, and always make sure you format your micro SD card first. Hopefully that helps you guys record. If you have any questions, please leave a message below. I'll get to it as soon as I can to help you guys out so you can be recording some of your awesome underwater footage in no time at all.